All right, we're doing an audio test with uh, two different microphones. First is the Rode NTG-1 shotgun microphone, and that's a microphone that I've used for about eight years now. I bought it um, when I first started getting into filmmaking, and I've used it ever since on all of my projects. And about three years ago, I bought the Rode NTG-8, and I haven't really used it at all because I didn't have the proper uh, equipment to put it into the Rode Blimp. They hadn't made the extension for it. And so I, I couldn't use it outdoors, and a lot of the stuff that I was doing outdoors required it, and so I just had to stick with the NTG-1. So now I'm finally getting into the studio with it, and I want to see what the difference is between the two, if it really is a huge difference, if it's worth, obviously, the money that I paid for it, and uh, we're going to see what the two sounds sound like differently. So here's the Rode NTG-1 microphone that I have used for a long time. It's never, you know, done bad for me. It's always given me crisp audio, at least to my ears. And then now we have the Rode NTG-8. And this microphone is supposed to be basically the best technology that Rode has for shotgun microphones. It has the same sensor in it, sorry, diaphragm, whatever you want to call it, uh, in, as the uh, NTG-3. And so I was considering buying the 3, and then I realized that it's supposed to have the same stuff in it that the 3 does. So I was like, well, I've already got one with that stuff in it. So let's see how it sounds, and let's see how they compare to each other. So once again, that's been the NTG-8. Now we're back to the NTG-1, what it sounds like, how it's responding to the ambience in the room, the tone of my voice, how crisp is it. And then now we're back to the NTG-8, how it responds to the tone of the room, how crisp is it. And this is a comparison of those two microphones. And here they are.